Here are two memories. Gordon was my A-level art teacher for two years. He was a most wonderfully unconventional teacher. His classes were full of a special spirit, and we never had the impression that we were being taught, but rather drawn into things by his unusual method of communicating to each of us. I got an excellent exam result, as did many of the others in the class. Jenny Hind, Waterman. So very sad about Gordon Dyke. He was such a nice man, and I learned my art history from him. Rana Sani. Do you remember his socks with orange and green stripes? He was cool. This one from George. The first time I met Mr. Dyke, he proclaimed himself a rebel. Since I was a rebel of sorts, we had an instant affinity. I do not have a high IQ, he told us. Any teacher that proclaimed himself stupid got instant agreement from me. Of course, what he meant was that he was not conventionally smart, but he went on to proudly proclaim that he was able to think in ways most people did not. These days, it's referred to as thinking outside the box. In those days, it was considered eccentric. Mr. Dyke had an opinion about everything, which he was always willing to share. He usually took the contrary view, for he hated the oppression of conventional wisdom. There was no gray area with the man. You always knew where he stood on any issue. He was also very direct in his dealings with people. There was never any doubt as to how he felt about any individual. His voice had a built-in passion that gave weight to every statement that he made. Whether he was talking about how da Vinci and Michelangelo overshadowed the more talented, in his opinion, Titian, or why the government was just plain wrong, the only thing that kept him in check was a good joke. Upon hearing one, he would pause and smirk, as if to savor the humor, and then continue on. His approach to teaching art was as direct as everything else about him. He made it very clear that painting and drawing are about seeing, about observing the world as it is. He always said that if your work was not coming out, then you were spending too much time looking at your work, and not enough time looking at your subject. He taught me that trees are not brown. Whenever he saw someone painting a brown tree, he would yell, Trees are not brown! Look at one, and you will see every color there is. Red, yellow, gray, green, all except brown. He was right, of course. The one piece of instruction that he gave me, which has stuck in my mind more than any other, the one thing that really is the metaphor for how to succeed in just about anything, the one phrase that can be recognized by anyone who knew him is, you've got to get the spaces in between. Cheers, George.